Oh, hello there. Um, what we're going to have a little look at today is how to fit uh, the string silencers um, into uh, a string. Now, these are like the Beaver Puff uh, or the Beaver Ball um, string silencers. Uh, they're pretty easy to do. I've got a, a quite a unique way of doing them, but um, but yeah, let's uh, let's have a look at how to put those in. And then I'm going to run my intro. Okay, so what we're going to take a little uh, look at today is installing uh, these beaver balls into your string. Um, some people call them beaver puffs, um, I call them beaver balls purely because it's a bit funnier. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I put them in in a rather interesting way. Um, there are a million and one ways to do it, just like anything with archery really, but this is just one way. It's the way I've found that seems to work the best. Um, a lot of people tend to try and put them in uh, with a string as is uh, and wind them around. But I find unless the, the string's under tension, you get really baggy balls. And that's the last thing you want is, is baggy balls. I like a nice tight ball, um, but yes. So without further ado, let's look at uh, firstly, where we're gonna put the balls. Now, the important thing is to make sure they're equidistant to each other. Um, I tend to sort of maybe about 20 inches down the string on a 62 inch bow. Actually, I'm um, really sorry to uh, to interrupt there. I could, I could see he was right in the middle of something, but it's actually more around uh, 10 inches. Uh, 20 inches is, is a bit much, to be honest. I, I mean, I don't wanna be that guy I don't want to be, you know, that correcting guy, but I, I just wanted to, I'm sorry, carry on, you're doing great work. Sorry, carry on, I'm sorry. But you've got to find that sweet spot for you. Um, the general rule of thumb is the closer to the center of the bow they are, the, uh, the slower the string, but the quieter it becomes. So you need to find tweak positions and, and, and find the exact spot for you. But we're gonna go about here for, um, for the uh, for the for the ball insertion. So what uh, what you need to do is is separate the string. Now with a two tone string such as this, it's very easy. Um, it's just there's brown and red there. You're just going to separate the brown and the red together. If you have a, a one a single color string, it gets a little bit more difficult, but it's not impossible. You just need to count the the strands and make sure that they're, they're even. So once you've got your string separated like that, I tend to try and get hold of something smooth. Um, it could be anything really. I, I, I quite like using these um, twist keepers from, from strings. I think they work brilliantly. You, you can use a you can use a knock. You can use anything really, as long as it's nice and smooth. You don't want anything too abrasive or anything that's got a sharp edge because you can uh, sort of nick uh, one of your strands and then you could be in all sorts of trouble. So yeah, I just tend to lock that in there, put a few, uh, put a few twists in it. Uh, so basically that just keeps, uh, so that's stuck in the string like that. So then what you need to do is repeat it to the other end, or you can do one at a time, it doesn't really matter, but we'll just work on one at the, the moment. So it's stuck in the string like that. Then you've got to string your bow up, uh, which we'll do uh, right now. Okay, so what we've done, we've, uh, we've rebraced the bow and we've got this uh, little uh, twist keeper or whatever you're gonna use to separate the strings uh, in the string. We've got the, um, the beaver ball here. So uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's put it in. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we've got the, uh, the, the beaver puff here, or the beaver ball. Uh, if you give it a bit of a, if you stroke the beaver ball a little bit, just to make sure all the, the, the fur is pointing in the same direction, if you have it pointing towards you, there's a little pointy bit just there. What we're gonna do, we're gonna just insert that into the string there. Then it's just simply a case of moving this separator, whatever you choose to use, a bit further back and you can then just wind that beaver ball around the string. Now, this is why I like to do it while the, uh, the bow is braced or at least under tension or the string under tension, it means you can, you can put some, some tension into the, the beaver ball so you get a nice tight ball. As we discussed before, you, you don't want a long old baggy ball. That's, uh, that's not fun for anyone. So yeah, just keep winding that on, keeping an even pressure as you go. Keep moving that uh, separator down as you go until you get to that last little bit. And then what you need to do is just poke that, I don't know if it's difficult to see, poke that last little bit of uh, fur through your the last little hole in the string. Now you might need to poke it through with, with something like a little Allen key or I'm just using a little uh, um, paper clip here, but it doesn't really matter. You don't want anything too sharp that could damage the string. But, uh, so it's just a little bit fiddly. But once you've pushed that through, and that's in place, you then pop your little uh, spacer out, give that a little bit of a shove together, 
and there you have uh, a beaver ball on your string. It's not too difficult to do, it's fairly simple. Um, it just can be a little bit fiddly, especially if it's the first time you're doing it. You may notice that it's not fantastically round or ball shaped at the moment. It, the more you shoot it, the rounder it does get. Uh, you're also gonna get lots of little bits of fluff coming off, but that's, um, that's quite normal, it's just till it beds in. Uh, there are other types of string silencers you can use. You can use the little rubber string leeches or the, or the spiders, but I'll show you how to put those in at a later date. I just wanted to, uh, to show you how, uh, how to put in a, a fur string silencer. Um, yeah, it's just quite simple really. All you really need to do is separate the string, feed the string uh, a little bit of the, uh, the, the beaver puff through, wrap it round under tension, giving you a nice tight ball. As we've said, baggy balls aren't, uh, aren't any fun. So you keep it nice and tight and then poke it back through the string uh, while it's under tension. Just gives you a little, a better chance of it staying, uh, staying put, which is, uh, which is nice. And they're easy to take out should you need to. Uh, but yeah, that has been how to install a uh, fur string silencer. I hope you found that useful. It's only been a quick little video, but, uh, but yeah, I, I hope you found that useful. You take care, shoot straight, and I'll see you on the internet. Bye bye. Kind of entry level bow. Now this is the Edge by uh, Epic Traditional. Now it's a very simple flat bow, very similar to um, that of, uh, I don't know if you remember the, um, the buck trail one I did back on my old channel.